What's going on, YouTube? You got your guy VP Blocker here. Uh, excuse me, let me put my seatbelt on. A lot of you guys are watching the video. You're not liking, subscribing. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the information I'm putting up here. Um, now, full disclaimer, watch the whole video. Watch the video through. Don't have an attention span of a walnut. Watch the whole video through. Um, I'll link my email in the description if you guys wanna get at me. Another disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a financial analyst. I am not a uh, life coach or anything like that. I am just a person who used to be a fucking dumbass that didn't pay attention to all the signs that were in front of me and all the lessons people were trying to give me. And now I'm trying to spread that to you guys so you guys and gals don't have to go through that. Now, here we go. A lot of people are complaining about inflation. Okay, you're complaining about inflation. You get inflation when you get a lot of free money thrown at you from the government in a form of stimulus. Now, this happened back in the 70s and the person who was the chairperson of the Fed was a guy named Paul Volcker. Now, he is what Jerome Powell is now. He was back in the 80s. Now, we are very sensitive people these days, okay? We hate seeing high interest rates, but believe it or not, you need interest rates to go up to help battle inflation. Do you know how you get rid of inflation? You crash the markets. The markets are gonna crash eventually, okay? Now, that's how you get rid of inflation. In 2008, $7.1 trillion evaporated evaporated because the markets crashed. That's how you hone back in all that free money you gave out. That's how you crash the markets. What they wanna do is keep kicking the can down the road, kicking the can down the road, where ah, we're gonna keep interest rates low. We, you know, I mean, all this bullshit of the supply chain issues, we created it. We shut down the country. All you did, all we did was shut down the world create a bottleneck and everything that's going on right now is just back ordered stuff from the past 18 months okay that's all it is people got extra money they couldn't spend and now they got time to spend the money now sorry for that little alarm that that's my camera that's recording but now at the end of the day when you make that much inflation you got to find a way to hone it in Interest rates back in the 80s went up to almost 20%. Yes, you heard me correctly. 20% interest rates went up, but guess what? It, it stabled our economy. The reason why the reason why the stagflation and the inflation happened was because we came off the gold standard in 1971. Okay? That's why inflation happened because they realized they can print so much money and we don't got to be on the gold standard. Now, eventually things will happen and they'll get that money back. Trust me, they always come back for the money. The best people that made out during this was the people that did nothing. They didn't buy a house. They didn't buy expensive cars. They, don't, they, they, uh, they didn't go out and run up a bunch of credit card debt. They stayed still, okay? They stayed still, they didn't do anything. They didn't go on social media and look at everybody else living beyond their means. Take a look at what's going on in California. You got people doing smashing grabs in, in uh, Nordstrom and Louis Vuitton just to grab name brand shit. What do you think they're gonna do with that name brand shit? Some of them are gonna sell it and the other ones are gonna put it on Instagram and Facebook, look at what I got, and they're gonna get caught because they're dumbasses because they'll do anything for a like. Now. In my earlier videos on this channel, you'll see I had a white Corvette, 60 roll, okay? That was the name on a plate, 60 roll. Why do you think I got rid of that car? I said, I'm never gonna be able to get as much for this car as I can now. I sold the car when the used car market is at its highest, and I went more into cash just in case some opportunities in the future present itself. 
whether it's buying better stocks, it's buying, it's putting more into my index funds, or who knows, I might wanna buy an investment property, but I want it to be more into cash because I realize on top of my dollar cost averaging, you gotta have a surplus of cash just in case an opportunity comes along. You gotta have cash around, okay? In Benjamin Graham's book, I'm gonna reference this. He says, sometimes the best way to win a race is to stand there and do nothing. You gotta think about that for a second. While everyone else is crazy, buying stuff, Black Friday, oh my God, it's, it's Black Friday sales coming up and Christmas is coming up. Some people are just, listen, we're not going crazy this year, but we're gonna buy one or two gifts and that's it. We're not gonna go crazy. Take a look at all the high-end cars. I've said this before. Take a look at all the high-end cars around you. I'm driving a stick shift Hyundai, sunroof, heated seats, navigation, all right? Power windows and doors. You don't gotta go crazy. You don't gotta ball out of control. As long as it gets you back and forth to work, as you see, I'm on my way to work. As long as it gets you back and forth to work, pack your lunch. You don't gotta live cheap. You don't gotta live super frugal where you don't enjoy yourself, but you also don't gotta ball out of control. Put down, get off of Instagram. I don't even have Instagram or Facebook. Only social media I really have is WhatsApp and uh, the YouTube. Other than that, I don't give a shit what other people bought. I don't care what they're driving. I don't care where they're on vacation. I don't give a rat's ass what they're doing. I don't care because I'm too busy doing me, okay? Let that be a lesson. I'm telling you right now, the best way you get rid of inflation, you're paying more for gas, the best way to get rid of that, they're gonna crash the market. When you crash the market, people end up broke, okay? What happens when the market crashes is people are living paycheck to paycheck. Where's the first place they go to get extra money that they shouldn't have been gambling with in the first place? The stock market. They pull it out of uh, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and all this stupid shit they know they shouldn't have been doing they start pulling it out of the stock market because they gotta keep the lights on. That's why you need an emergency fund. That's how markets crash. In 2008, so many people said, oh my God, I lost my life savings. No, no, you were living beyond your means. You cashed out your 401ks and all your investment properties. That's what happened. People that didn't cash none of that shit out, they became millionaires. Most of your millionaires are made during depressions and recessions. Search it for yourself. Eventually, interest rates are going to go up and people are going to get caught with their pants down. Okay? No regrets. Don't follow the crowd. Walk against the grain. Email is going to be in the description. Reach out to me during email. We could set up some time where we could talk and we can start getting these things in order. Like I said, I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a financial guru. I'm not a real estate guru. I'm not a therapist. I'm just someone that's been through a lot that can help a lot of you that are confused, that don't know what to do. I can get you on that path of what I did and just talk to you and help you along the way. Hit me up. Link's going to be in the description. No regrets. Get it.